Brooks Pennsylvania cooking. Today we're going to make some uh, butternut squash soup. Um, it's something I really like. I don't make that often. I don't really know why. Well, I do know why. I'm the one that mostly eats it. <laughs> I have butternut squash I want to use up. So I'm going to do uh, some butternut squash soup today. I'm making extra here. I'm going to bake also because I'm going to do I'm going to use it in place of sweet potatoes for a sweet potato pie recipe also. I've already done a vid on that. I'll share the link below. Because um, you can use butternut squash in place of sweet potatoes. It's just as yummy. So, I'll show you what goes into this. Two caveats about this. A lot of times when this is made, people either use an immersion blender or do it in batches to a blender and put it back to the pot. and. I mean, you don't have a choice, you can do that, but the texture is never quite as velvety. I'm going to use my Vitamix today. Um, if you have a really good stand blender, I recommend that. Um, but once again, you can do it without, it just won't be quite as velvety. So, I'll show you what goes into this. Obviously, butternut squash. And I'm going to show you how I prep it here in a second. But also, vegetable stock, butter, um, a pinch of salt and pepper, cracked pepper blend I have, garlic, shallots if you have them, I didn't. I had small uh, yellow onions which are stronger so I didn't use near as many of them so it's not overpowering. Maple syrup and a little nutmeg and cinnamon and butter. I'm gonna scoop out the seed part. You don't have to do this. If I'm I especially do this if I'm saving seeds, but you can do it after as well. I'm doing, mostly doing it because I want to season this before I bake it. Okay, here they are cleaned. And I always bake my butternut squash. I have never peeled and cut up a butternut squash and boiled it on a stove in my life. Um, I always roast it. One, it's way easier. Um, it takes care of itself when it roasts. The shell just comes right off. It's, it's so much easier to deal with. But the other thing is, um, you get the flavor, the roasted flavor through it. So it's much more flavorful as well. I'm going to take a little oil. Just drizzle that over. Make sure it's really in good. this and then I'm going to take some of my salt and pepper blend so that gets roasted into it and I'm going to pop it in the oven my oven's preheated at 425 degrees and we'll get her in the oven and then we're going to work on the uh, onions and garlic and stuff that's going to go in with the roasted butternut squash. And I'm going to turn them upside down on my foil or you can use parchment paper and put them in the oven. These are probably going to take about 45 minutes or so and until they're nice and tender and we can peel them easily. While my butternut squash is in the oven baking, we're just gonna saute up in some butter the uh, onion and garlic. And if you have fresh garlic and you can get fresh shallots, that's even better, but beggars can't always be choosers, so I tend to use what I got on hand and I always keep a big jar of mixed garlic because I go through it pretty quickly. And like I said, the uh, onion you would use a good medium sized shallot if you had it. These are stronger, so I used a smaller onion to make up that difference. It's all going in the blender, so it'll all be good. Get them nice and translucent here in my old Griswold. And she'll be ready to add to the blender 
when the squash is ready. Okay, you see, pretty, pretty tender. You see, no, it doesn't matter that they get a little browned and all that jazz. That's actually adds to the flavor. Oh yeah, we're tender. There we go. So, I'm going to let this cool a little bit till it's good enough to, uh, cool enough to scoop out and we'll finish up our soup. You can see they scoop out really nice <clears throat> when you bake them this way. Makes it so much easier. And I think they taste so much better with that flavor. Have the squash ready. I'm just going to show you quick that my blender has a hot soup setting so I'm going to use that. It's not a big deal if your blender doesn't. Um, you're just going to add the stuff and, and blend it up really well so it's nice and smooth and then you can transfer it back to a stock pot to finish it off and get it nice and hot. So first I'm going to add my Butternut squash. I'm going to add my nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon and the maple syrup. And some more butter. Another couple tablespoons. The butter is going to give it nice and nice good creamy richness <clears throat> and it's better than milk. I'm also going to add my onions and garlic that I sauteed up from before with a little bit of butter. And I'm going to add a couple cups, two to three, about three. We can always make this thinner if we want to, but you don't want to overfill. So let's try this out. I'm going to put this on my soup setting and let her go. She actually looks oh pretty darn good that way and it's nice and hot. Look how velvety that looks. And like I said, if you don't have something like this, still use a stand mixer. Uh, keep it to three or four cups at most so you don't overfill and don't have to do it in batches. And then you can put it back in a stock pot and get it nice and hot. I'm going to pour this out and we're going to give this a taste. And we're going to pour out. Oh, look how velvety that looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, yummy. It tastes good already. So here it is. That's where I see it. And I'm going to give it a taste. Mm. Oh man, is that good. That is super velvety, smooth. Mm. You have the sweetness from the maple syrup. You have the, uh, you can taste the oven roasted part come through. That really gives it depth of flavor. It's not plain squash. It has that nice smoky roasted flavor to it. Mmm. Yes. That's really good. So if you want an idea what to do with butternut squash besides the old usual, treat yourself to a really nice bowl of soup. It's that time of year. And uh, make up some good butternut squash soup. It's absolutely delicious. So just another idea to do with squash. And you know, actually sweet potatoes work fine for this. Butternut squash, any good sweet squash is really nice in a soup like this. And like I said, if you don't have a fancy mixer, with the soup settings and stuff, 
Just blend it all really good and transfer it back to a pot and get it nice and hot. Let it simmer down a little bit and get that flavor through. Butternut squash soup.